these are probably the most exciting days to be alive, to look at the light ahead. It's like a tunnel, and yet it is there. We are all flowers, and if we will grow together, we could be like the most botanical, most beautiful garden imaginable. This is a, a scary time because of the issues in the world today. But it's a mystical, magical time calling each of us as if it were our own names being called. And it's time to rejoice. And it's time to turn the volume up on reason and logic and truth in all good things. And all things do work for good for those that desire love, hope, and peace. And I welcome you to this very special time when people can celebrate a new uh, YouTuber I'm spotlighting, just as I did Joanne McFadder and uh, Ben Carroll. And uh, so in this hour, I welcome you from Canada, and I share this country with that one whom this video is about, uh, a brand new uh, uh, channel, not too old, he's, he's, he's cooking, he's uh, got his flames on high. So blessed are the wise, and to be wise or stupid, stupid is, is stupid does, is all just a choice. For the wise will inherit peace by realizing that even before they could ever score in life with their love being in action, they must not only have a goal, but they must also see that they'll miss 100% of every shot that they do not take. As my fellow Canadian uh, Wayne Gretzky uh, has always said, and know that alone we can all do so very little, but together we can all do so very much that it would utterly amaze us if only we would realize uh, and to try wrapping our hearts and our minds around such a, a loving word of glory unto love, who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored, who is the Lord God Almighty, he whose arm uh, is power given unto us. And we are only as strong is what his word wants us to know, as we are unified by love and hope. And we are all as weak as we are divided. Uh, and this is the great Canadian message that I'm sharing with one from Alberta, spotlighting uh, one from the great white north, eh? Uh, the land of beavers, mounties, and good old Canadian beer. And uh, from that viewpoint, I got a personal thing about alcohol. And I'm telling you, it's time to throw away all the liquor. Liquor's not quicker. The living water is much quicker. The living wine spilling over from the floodgates of heaven, being poured out over all flesh. These are the days of the trial of all flesh. Revelation 3, COVID coming to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. We must change. We must beat our sword into the sickle. And my friend uh, uh, in Alberta, son of Saskatchewan, knows this true. Uh, and from the home of the Calgary Stampede, therefore, the wise should listen very hard if they hear a voice echoing that he is love, a light, red, ruddy. And so try embracing the truest truth that happiness that's held in our hearts is the divine seed of the most peaceful hope imaginable and it is happiness shared uh, if we will allow love's unfolding blossom to spread out within us 
so that we can be happy uh, for such a time as this, which comes uh, to bring a brand new voice, declaring that where flowers boom, bloom, where flowers bloom, new hope comes from. And hello, my name is Daniel Fletcher Owsley, and I'm delighted to be spotlighting um, different music ministries like Joanne McFadder and Ben Carroll as I now hoist up another huge spotlight over a fast-growing YouTuber from Calgary, Alberta for the revealed preacher of love in question. Uh, he fully sees, and I can tell I've got a good discernment about myself, that humility will lead us all to unity that will then bring us the most beautiful peace of the age of the lion and the lamb that can only arise if our understandings join together in love and embrace our, uh, uh, our similarities instead of our differences. It's time to lay our differences down in the name of love. It is the shattering of the power of the holy people. It is the decursifying of the curse of Babylon. And I'm telling you, unloving religion in this world is the horror thereof. Disunity will drive us to suicide, to the edge of oblivion and annihilation by our own hand and our own hateful wrath and our subtle racism, both spiritual, emotional, and physical. And so between Red Deer, Alberta, and the Redwood Forest, let Red Ruddy's great celebration of love be exalted evermore, and let brand new hopes of love's greatest peace uh, now be echoed from Red Rock, Arizona, to Red Lion, Delaware, and let the wise exalt his desperately needed message of love let it be exalted from the Red Sea all the way to Russia's Red Square and everywhere in between. And let those wanting to shine as the stars that we were fearfully and wonderfully created to be, let them let go of all that's been weighing them down, he says, uh, weigh, weighing them down like anchors, I say. Uh, so that they cannot even travel as they should be. And let such faithful few of great brand new Kingdom Age hopes embrace Red Ruddy's words of blessing and awfully good wishes. Uh, so share his words with others living between Red Fort, Indiana and the infamous Valley of Fire near not too far from Death Valley. And know that in these days, the highest peaks of the tallest redwoods uh, are now raising their limbs up to our great beyond for red skies painted brightly by the most passionate words of one who is red ruddy. Nor can anyone deny that he's red with love's brightest flame and ruddy by his cheerful reddish complexion that comes unto all people who are standing under the glorious shining translucence uh, of the blood-red ruby of our Lord's bejeweled scepter of love that's held so lovingly within his mighty nail-scarred hand of that roaring lion of Zion who's roaring out our names louder than ever before. And it is he who is our everlasting Abba Father, our majesty of majesties, hero of heroes, icon of icons. And by the spirit of prophecy, let the wise desiring hope's very best excellence of treasure also now understand that we are all like some beautiful flowers. Some of us are broken flowers, but flowers nonetheless. But together, Red rightly sees that we can all become like beautiful gardens uh, that could even make Eden's paradise to look like uh, something second rate in comparison. And Red Ruddy additionally comprehends that love is also the flower that we all need to grow, just as John Lennon said. And uh, so these are Red Ruddy days of the lily of the valley, days of the Rose of Sharon losing their thorns. And these are the most awesome days for a son of Saskatchewan, Red Ruddy, to stand up to YouTube's mic uh, proudly, uh, tall with much honor. 
uh, as he wishes champagne dreams and caviar wishes to everyone who may begin overflowing with great uh, abundant spiritual ri riches, the excellence of treasure and the treasure of excellence, the, the wine, the living wine, the living water of his love flowing in motion as a little child. And if only people would embrace love alone as their everlasting treasure of excellence. And this is why I'm celebrating uh, Red's channel, because uh, he has the correct picture. So let the people celebrate Red's message of Kingdom Age hopes for uh, loving peace to arise even within these days of love's great jubilee of jubilees, unending celebration of many glorious brand new hopes for a world that can be changed by our love flowing as a, a melody and a harmony that's dancing in the winds, uh, resonating by beautiful music, bopping up and down like the northern lights, set afire with the passion of love, hope, faith, and peace, and action by, 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 by doing something, by creating something, by collaborating with others to, to sharpen each other's swords uh, so that we can all beat them into sickles for the harvest of love. And so these are the days for the leaves of the trees to clap their hands as red powerfully curses all insanity born of hatred and spiritual bigotry. No matter what you may, uh, no matter what you may be experiencing, Red says that you can change the outcome, and we can all change the future. This is biblical. We are not locked in to any future guaranteed right now, other than the one that will come in the kingdom age. That will come. And know that when you have the strength within you, Red says that you can change your frequency so that you can see that nobody can ever unite with anyone else until they unite the, lar the light and the dark that's within themselves. And it can be joined together and united as one because of God's love and his forgiveness. For he says to all people, I will be your God. You will be my people. I shall forgive your iniquity and I shall never remember it. He would be a liar if he remembered it. He says, I'll write my law and my love upon your hearts, and beyond that no one will ever even need to be taught of me anymore, says the Lord God. For all people of love shall know me, from the least to the greatest shall know me. For those who love truly are born again of God and know God, because he is love. Whatever they might believe or do not believe is irrelevant. Love is the answer to being born again. So leave the land of the walking dead where your love has become uh, but a noun instead of a verb in motion as when you were a kid. Uh, reducing you to but uh, just a hypocritical person unloving who will not uh, reach out to other people, who will not unite with other people. A person who has a form of godliness but denies the power of love whom is Christ Jesus, Isa Yeshua, our living Lamb of God, Emmanuel, returning soon. And so it's time that we need to unite uh, ourselves in our heart uh, and, and, and walk under no condemnation. Those who walk with the Spirit are under no condemnation. And once you realize that, then you can begin sailing upon love's ruby red sea of no more bleeding hearts uh, so that people will never again have to learn the ways of war anymore. So let all people come towards that sapphire sea of love's overflowing forgiveness divine. It is a sea that is a sapphire and a ruby and an emerald all in one. The hues are just like the northern lights uh, reflecting the glory from the great white throne as our Lord stands and puts his sickle into the world for the harvest of love. So may you all receive the greatest blessings of love from love and hope from hope and peace from peace from our Prince thereof, who is our everlasting Abba Father. And I am Daniel Fletcher of Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And I do have much uh, in common with Red Ruddy from Alberta. I am the son of Hubert C. Owsley, alias Red. Everybody called him Red. Uh, and that was my father. 
So it came to pass that Calgary's a fast-rising philosopher of love on YouTube is now preaching his message of love's unity for all people, desiring peace, regardless of any religious dogmas or not. Religion has nothing to do with whether or not you're going to be loving or not. That is the most stupid thing I've ever heard. And he says that we all need to choose the ways of love because absolutely everyone in the world wants unconditional forgiveness uh, if they do something wrong. But Red is really saddened because he does accurately see the truth that really next to nobody out there uh, wants to unconditionally forgive those who have hurt them by, by deed or by action. So it starts with love and forgiveness for one another. If we can't love those whom we can see, we can never love some God uh, that we cannot see. So Red says it's time to stand up for our sovereignty and say no to all forms of racism, whether it be physical or spiritual, that causes needless walls and divisions between one another. So from the heart space with love, Love conquers all. Love is our creator, Red says. It's a frequency, Abba. You are the creator, he says. So create your own abilities to take back your sovereign power. Anchor yourself uh, into the righteous direction you crave uh, as you choose love by consciously recognizing an inner spiritual challenge. And Red Ruddy also stresses that we all desperately need to look into our mirror and speak the I am affirmations of many good claims that we can see ourselves experiencing by faith if we'll only have the desire to honestly be able to say that I am excellently healthy, I am love, I am light. Uh, what beautiful affirmations. I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am grateful. I am creating the version of myself that I want to experience. So Red says, open up your hearts and reach out. Let everyone get really excited about our visions of love's unity. These are the days when the Good Shepherd has risen over all the flocks of man, John 10, because all of them have always been his, and he loves each and every one exactly equally, having no favorites, loving one just as much as one another. And so it's time, Red says, to express our love, our connection, and to build a community. But he also warns that there's a tremendous amount of deception in this world. And he says his advice is to let it all go. Uh, go inwards, never mind the external pleasures and the instant gratification. Therefore, Red rightly says that we need to remove all disagreeable energies and entities from governments by prayer and loving faith and loving actions uh, beginning to happen all around the world. And we need to be the love that we wish to see in this world, Red rightly says. And he adds that our imagination is the key to setting our inner child free from all of the trauma and all of the experience that have held us back from becoming the very best versions of ourselves. And he also emphasizes that the gospel truth, that if anyone continually raises their core frequency, they hold it uh, moment to moment while they start to become in service to others without any expectations. Uh, that's my problem. I have too many expectations. I preach to a world that's unloving, unfriendly. No one even says hello. And I guess I'm preaching in spite of that because I love them anyways. And so it's time that he says that those uh, free from spiritual bondage may then marry their good thoughts with uh, emotions from their head, from their heart space, he says. So they can marry the emotions together with their heart space as they manifest themselves into a brand new earth. And Red also says it's utterly true that it's as simple as changing the channel if you get tired of what you've been seeing. And Red Ruddy added that we all need to keep creating the things that we love. And when we uh, create, we rise our core frequency of love, hope, and faith. Uh, and uh, by whole 
holding more of that within us. It allows us to ascend higher into a better place of love where we can truly see the utter blessedness of he whose magnificence of the splendor of his beneficence goes before him, his overflowing charity and adoration for each and every one of us. And uh, so he says that love's loose, loosened passion from each of our hearts need to be awakened and set ablaze like gasoline uh, with kindness, set ablaze with kindness for all other brothers of other mothers or sisters of other mothers. And Red says, therefore, that ascension is how you escape the, the 3D experience and you transform it into a 5D. So a great wildfire of love can come forth as a great explosion of joy within you. Uh, and then he stressed that the fifth dimension will explode with the greatest possible hope within for world peace even, when enough humans uh, raise their inner frequency so it'll match the inner earth. And he says our collective frequency all together will pull the inner earth to the outer earth when we are matching. And just as it is true that the first are last and the last are first, so too should the wise of the Bible's prophecies, mysteries, now laid open, uh, consider the loving mystery of the new earth becoming the inner earth. Uh, and God is, declares that he would turn all things topsy-turvy in Isaiah. Look it up, Google it if you don't believe me. Uh, and it shall be born uh, the foretold golden age. Red rightly says, when multitudes of illuminated, enlightened people of loving peace really begin creating good things as they visualize and meditate in order to connect with the, the inner earth that is within each and every one of us, which is love. And then he says, may liberated people of love put always everything from themselves uh, that's been a distraction keeping them uh, down. Let them put those things away as they think on things that are good, things that are lovely and of good report, as the Apostle Paul once said. And with great joy, Red Ruddy then allowed his words to begin burning within the spirit realm by the passion of his most uh, fervent compassion. As Red said, and so... Uh, Declare independence then. Declare independence from the system and manifest the life that you want to live. Uh, do not keep waiting around for something to happen. Take action now, he says, and create your own version of the new earth. There is only one experience, and I, Hebrew, hope your life paths brings you everything your soul evolution needs to bring you unfolding like a flower within you with peace, love, and new hopes for a blessed new day because these are the days when the Lord says, I will cut these days short so all flesh uh, will not be lost, Matthew 24, 22. And in these days, praise God, he says, and it will be written, uh, it will be considered in the latter days, Jeremiah 30, 24. The Lord is declaring once again, just as Nineveh was not destroyed and he relented from destroying them, it is written in Jonah 4. In the same way, he's saying, I will return my fierce, terrifying anger in these days of the fast rising great tribulation if you listen to Red Ruddy's words of truth and follow his good advice. And so we all need to share each other. And Red says, uh, please, I really encourage you all to share and make videos while we still can. Reaching a collective consciousness uh, of love and hope is what this time uh, now is for. Right now. There's no other important moment. History is gone. The, the future hasn't come. Now! So act now. Like this video. Go to Love a light, red ruddy. <laughs> hey, bye. Hey, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.